so question six is very similar to question five. Again, we're looking for the required sample size, and just the numbers that we're going to be using are a little bit different. So this time we're using a 90% confidence interval, so alpha is 0.1, alpha over 2 is 0 0.05, and z alpha over 2, z 0 0.05, is inverse norm of 1 minus the subscript. And inverse norm of 1 minus 0 0.05 is 1.645. Okay, if we read the question carefully, we're given the margin of error that we desire is a 0 0.03 or 3%. We want to estimate P within 3%. And it doesn't give us a value of P to use. When we're given no information about the proportion, uh, so given no information about P, we're always going to use P equals 0.5. Okay, and when I do this, when I use P equals 0.5, it's going to make N a little bit larger than any other proportion. So this is always our safe proportion to use. So when you have no guess what the proportion is, always use 0.5 or 50%. So this means our value for N, or our required sample size, is a 1.645 squared times 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5, which is also 0.5, divided by the margin of error, which is 0 0.03 squared. Okay, and when I carefully put all of this into my calculator, I get a 751.7. So again, n is always a whole number, and I always round up. So my answer would be 752.